My name is Amy Vitali, and I made the film Remembering Sudan, which is about the last male northern white rhino. And I have been working with these rhinos and the community and the people who care for them for the last 14 years. And I think the film also is meant to make people realize that it's not just about these creatures that seem so far away from many of us but that actually it's um, it's happening in our backyards. Extinction is, um, we're all connected to it. And it's just a really simple short film made to help people remember that we all have a role and that we can all be advocates and voices for the creatures all around us everywhere on this planet. Yeah, well, I've spent so much time with um, these rhinos and the keepers and the, the people rescuing them from extinction. And it's so much a part of my life. And I just felt that it was, and there's been many beautiful, you know, stories about them, but I just felt like I wanted to talk about that bond between Zachariah, the head rhino keeper, that he has with these animals. Um, and, you know, I just, there's so many, it's all the little things, it's all about listening and just all the little things you hear, even hearing the silence when Sudan died. You know, I, I think about that moment quite a bit and I've had the privilege of being there for so much of the story that I felt it was time to bring it to life. You know, the actual filming didn't take that long. Um, I mean, actually, in some ways, I've been telling this story for 14 years. So there's footage from, you know, 14 years ago till today. And I think the actual editing project, we started it, we had to put it on pause for a whole bunch of reasons. Um, the COVID, I mean, it back again, that was a part of it. We got um, sick, the editor and I, and had to come back, but, Honestly, it was probably in, you know, it, it was it was a film that's been inside me so long that um, the actual putting it together, I think, yeah, maybe a few weeks we put it together. It was a, it was one of the most profound moments in my life that I hope I never have to experience again. It was witnessing the end really signaling extinction to the species, for the species. And they weren't just it, just these beautiful, magnificent creatures to me. They had become close, you know, you spend so many years with animals and they're, you know, I think we all understand when we spend time with creatures, they're, they're sentient, they're intelligent. You recognize that and, um, and I think that this moment haunts me, you know? I mean, I can't let go of it, to be honest. Um, it's shaped who I am. I think what I will remember again is the silence. You know, there was just all you could hear on that day was the rain and the muffled sobs of all the people who loved and protected these creatures, just trying to hold in their I mean, just, the, I don't, there's no words for that kind of sadness. I think the only way I can channel that despair is to try to create a sense of hope and show all the beautiful, hopeful stories because it's not just this story that leaves you feeling hopeless. It actually, hope, my hope is that it makes you want to get up, get out of bed and go and do everything you can to be a voice for the wild, <laughs> this beautiful wild world. And I think it's just that. It's just that, you know, I think in spite of all the despair and tragedy playing out all around us, the world is still such a beautiful, beautiful place and it's all around us. And I think that's the message of the film. Like, look at these beautiful creatures and 
look at this world we inherited. And if you look for it, there's so much beauty too. And that's what keeps me going. It makes me want to work harder. Oh, it is, it is such a surprise and an honor. Um, and no, I just, I'm so profoundly grateful. Like I said, this project is so close to my heart and I'm truly honored and excited to have other people, um, you know, share that. I hope, I hope it leaves people in a place um, that inspires them.